Son, who by the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, hath vouchsafed to give joy to the whole world, grant, we beseech thee, that with the help of his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. O oh Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise be the Lord.
The first lesson is written in the book of Joshua, in the seventh chapter, beginning at the first verse. But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the cursed thing, for Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took the accursed thing, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. And Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside beth Haven, on the east side of Bethel, and spake unto them, saying, Go up and view the country. And the men went up and viewed Ai. And they returned to Joshua and said unto him, Let not all, thy pe all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and smite Ai. And make not all the people to labor thither, for they are but few. So there went up thither of the people about three thousand men, and they fled before the men of Ai. And the men of Ai smote of them about thirty and six men, for they chased them from before the gate, even under Shebari, and smote them in the going down. Wherefore the hearts of the people melted and became as water. And Joshua rent his clothes and fell to the earth upon his face before the ark of the Lord unto, until the eventide, he and the elders of Israel, and put dust upon their heads. And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord God, wherefore hast thou at all brought, brought, us, brought this people over Jordan to deliver us into the hands of the Amorites to destroy us? Would to God we have been content and dwelt on the other side, Jordan. O Lord, what shall I say when Israel turneth their backs before the, their enemies? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land shall hear of it, and shall environ us round, and cut off our name from the earth. And what wilt thou do unto thy great name? And the Lord said unto Joshua, Get thee up. Wherefore liest thou thus upon thy face? Israel hath sinned. And they have also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them. For they have even taken of the accursed thing, and have also stolen, and dissembled also. And they have put it even among their own stuff. Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies, because they were accursed. Neither will I be with you any more, except ye destroy the accursed thing from among you. Up, sanctify the people, and say, Sanctify yourselves against, against tomorrow. For thus saith the Lord, God of Israel, There is an accursed thing in the midst of thee, O Israel. Thou canst not stand before thine enemies, until ye take away the accursed thing from among you. In the morning, therefore, ye shall be brought according to your tribes, and it shall be that the tribe which the Lord uh, taketh uh, shall come according, according to the families thereof. And the family which the Lord shall take shall come by the households, and the household which the Lord shall take shall come man by man. And it shall be that he that is taken with the accursed thing shall be burnt with fire. He and all that he hath, because he hath transgressed the covenant of the Lord, and because he hath wrought folly in Israel. So Joshua rose up early in the morning, and brought Israel by their tribes, and the tribe of Judah was taken. And he brought the family of Judah, and he took the family of the Zerites, and he brought the family of the Zerites man by man, and Zabdi was taken. And he brought his household, man by, his household man by man. And Achab, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Zub, Judah, was taken. And Joshua said unto Achan, My son, give, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God of Israel, and make confession unto him. And tell me now what thou hast done. Hide it not from me. And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and thus, and thus have I done. When I saw among the spoils a goodly Babylonish gar garment, and two hundred shekels of silver, and a wedge of gold of fifty shekels weight, then I coveted them, and took them, and behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent, and the silver under it. So Joshua sent messengers, and they ran unto the tent, and behold, it was hid in his tent, and the silver under it. And they took and they took them out of the midst of the tent, and brought them unto Joshua, and unto all the children of Israel, and laid them out before the Lord. 
And Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan, the son of Zerah, and the silver, and the garments, and the wedge of gold, and his sons, and his daughters, and his oxen, and his asses, and his sheep, and his tent, and all that he had. And they brought them unto the valley of Achor. And Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee this day. And all Israel stoned him with stones, and burned them with fire, after they had stoned them with stones. And they raised over him a great heap of stones unto this day. So the Lord turned from, from the fierceness of his anger. Wherefore the name of that place was called the Valley of Achor unto this day. Here endeth the first lesson. The lambs I banquet call to share, the raging garments white and fair, the red sea past we fain would sing, to Jesus our triumphant King. Oh, he that is mighty, hath mercy. 
The second lesson is written in the Acts of the Apostles, in the 24th chapter, beginning at the first verse. And after five days, Ananias the high priest descended with the elders and with a certain orator named Tertullus, who informed the governor against Paul. And when he was called forth, Tertullus began to accuse him, saying, Seeing that by thee we enjoy great quietness, and that very worthy deeds are done unto this nation by thy providence, we accept it always and in all places, most noble Felix, with all thankfulness. Notwithstanding that I be not further tedious unto thee, I pray thee that thou wouldest hear us of thy clemency a few words. For we have found this man a pestilent fellow, and a mover of sedition among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes, who also hath gone about to profane the temple, whom we took and would have judged according to our law. But the chief captain Lysias came upon us, and with great violence took him away out of our hands, commanding his accusers to come unto thee, by examining of whom thyself mayest take knowledge of all these things whereof we accuse him. And the Jews also assented, saying that these things were so. Then Paul, after that the governor had beckoned unto him to speak, answered, For as much as I know that thou hast been of many years a judge unto this nation, I do the more cheerfully answer for myself, because that thou mayest understand that there are yet but twelve days since I went up to Jerusalem for to worship, and they neither found me in the temple disputing with any man, neither raising up the people, neither in the synagogues, nor in the city. Neither can they prove the things whereof they now accuse me. But this I confess unto thee, that after the way which they, all, which they call heresy, so worship I the God of my fathers, believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets, and have hope toward God, which they themselves also allow, that there shall be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and unjust. And herein do I exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offense toward God and toward men. Now after many years I came to bring alms to my nation and offerings, whereupon certain Jews from Asia found me purified in the temple, neither with multitude nor with tumult who ought to have been here before thee, and object if they, had aught, if they had aught against me. Or else let these same here say, 
if they have found any evil doing in me while I stood before the council, except it be for this one voice that I cried standing among them, touching the resurrection of the dead, I am called in question by you this day. And when Felix heard these things, having more perfect knowledge of that way, he deferred them and said, When Lysias the chief captain shall come down, I will know the uttermost of your matter. And he commanded a centurion to keep Paul and to let him have liberty, and that he should forbid none of his acquaintance to minister or come unto him. Here endeth the second lesson.
that so among the sundry and manifold changes of the world our works may surely there be fixed where true joys are to be found through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works to proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our works may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Light not darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people, continue, we beseech thee, this his gracious work among us, especially in preventing further escalation of the coronavirus. Cheer, heal, and sanctify the sick. Grant to physicians, surgeons, and nurses wisdom and skill sympathy and patience, and send down thy blessings upon all who labor to prevent suffering and to forward thy purposes of love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving help unto all nations. More especially we pray for the good estate of the Catholic Church, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace, and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any way afflicted, any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate, especially for Patricia Boyce, Jeffrey, Joshua, Roger Beland, Emma and family, Claire, Harvey Cottrell, Vera Ayabko, David Blackman, Murray Nash, Emily, Mary and Rob, Ronald Bentley, Phyllis, Tracy, Father Matthew Borden, Mary Davis, Quinn Smith, Morris Redman, Phyllis James, Bart Begler, Ann Dobbins, George Stone, Gilles Roussel, Sandra Cullen, Chris Bellardi, Therese, Denise Roussel, Shirley Delaney, James Hallett, Sarah Trant, Oana, and for all living with anxiety and depression. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them, according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings, and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ, his sake. Amen. Amen. O Lord, support us all the day long of this troublous life, until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes, the busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then, Lord, in thy mercy, grant us safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at the last, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who hast given us grace this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.